you for my Bowline is Body Glyphs Feet Stretch. So for today's stretch, all you will need is a soft exercise mat if you're not working out on carpet, a resistance band, I'm just going to use a Pilates band, you can also use a loop, a hand weight or something that you can roll your foot on, something quite uh, smooth, and a pen. Okay, so we're just going to get started with a couple of rolls to warm up our feet and get everything nice and mobile. So just come into a position like this and put your foot on top of that and just start to roll out from your heel all the way to the tips of your toes. If you're uncomfortable sitting like this, you can also sit with your foot outstretched, it doesn't really matter. You just want to be able to push a little bit of weight into your foot so it increases that nice sensation of rolling out underneath there. You can also angle your feet slightly, so just on the side there, but make sure you're careful so you don't bruise your bones, and then angle towards the inside, all the way like that, all the way to the front of the toes, and then just change to your other foot. So I like to be kneeling like this because it helps me to push a little bit more weight into that. You can also do this standing up and that will help you to put even more weight into the roll. All the way to your heel and to your toes. It's a great idea to do stretches for your feet because they carry us all day long and often if you don't look after your feet wearing the right footwear and taking care of them you can develop all sorts of injuries, especially if you do a lot of running or high impact exercises, as well as bar work. The front of your feet, the balls of your feet get a lot of work in bar, being up in that high toe position, so make sure you stretch it out. Okay, so we've rolled that out. Now coming back in that kneeling position, I want you to bring your foot flat onto the mat and then just lean forward. So you're leaning the weight of your body into that leg, which helps you to stretch through, or through the back of your Achilles tendon there. If it's too much to lean into it, just stay upright, or maybe if you push forward slightly with your hands. But this just increases that stretch a little bit, just warming through that. You can even rock a little bit so that you're peeling your toes up, and then your heel. And if you can't get your heel all the way to the ground, that's fine too. Just challenge yourself. Okay, two, one. And now we're just going to come up and down. So once again, I'm going to press my weight onto that thigh so that as I'm lifting up very carefully onto my higher tippy toes, I've got a little bit of resistance there. And that will help me to increase that strengthening and stretch. All the way up. Three, two, one. Now curl your toes under and we're just going to press into the front of the foot. So really just press in. It's going to feel a little bit strange because we don't often do this in day to day life. But you can just move around a little bit with your knee and you can actually rock your toes from side to side just creating some mobility in all those tendons in there side to side and we're going to go back to that ball of the foot and we're going to alternate between ball of the foot to toe so if ball of the foot you can lean onto your thigh a little bit to increase that but when you're doing your toe, you probably won't want to. You just press under lightly. It's important to have this nice thick mat to help cushion your toes. Forward and toe. Two more like this. And toe. And I mean, you can do as many reps as you like with any of these exercises. And toe. Great job. We're going to move to the other side. So starting off with that Achilles stretch. Planting your whole foot into the mat and leaning forward. Always make sure all your toes are pressed firmly into the mat so that you're not favouring one side. Pushing forward lightly and you can rock a little bit here. 
your toes up and your heel up. Toes and heel. All the way. Two. One. And then up high on your tippies. And down. Making sure that you're not tickling your ankles at the top there. You're keeping everything in perfect alignment coming up as one unit. And down. All the way up. As you can go. Three, two, one, and then leaning back slightly, toes under, and just pressing into that. Rocking side to side. And then you can rotate on your toes slightly. Don't do it. Just find a position that works for you. Just two more like this. And last one. Great job. Now we're going to use our pen. And all we're going to do is sit on your glutes. All we're going to do is place the pen in front of us and we're going to pick it up with our toes and then drop it. So try and line it up nice and straight. Pick it up with all your toes. Scrunch your feet and then drop it. So you're holding it for a second, scrunching, like making a fist out of your feet. Clenching those toes, you're strengthening through the toes. You might want to start off with a fatter pen and then slowly work your way to a skinnier one. The thinner, the harder it is. Clenching and releasing. On each side, and any of these exercises you can do throughout the day. Even sitting at your desk, you can put a pen on the ground and start clenching it in your toes. Last one, and then just other side. So squeeze that and release. Squeeze and release. Good to have strong toes when you do lots of bar work because you are up on them for so long and it will help to alleviate some of the pressure from the ball of your foot if your toes are also quite strong. Pick it up. Squeeze. Two more. Up. You can do this with a rag as well. Scrunching the rag between your toes. Okay? Now we're going to use our band. So put the band around your foot, around the entire top portion of your foot. The first thing we're going to do is hold on to it, create a bit of tension there. We're going to do like a Barbie foot. So I'll show you without. It's like, you know, when you go like a Barbie foot, so you're not pointing, but you're flexing your toes. And we're going to go up and down, trying to touch the ball of our foot down. Okay, so it's Touch and up, touch and up. Create as much tension with the band as you want. This is to stretch and strengthen through the balls of your feet. It's up and down, up and down. Try to touch every time. Rotating on that heel as a pivot point. Two, one. Now straighten your leg out and we're going to point away. So you're pointing your toes now. It's point. It's point. Trying to point and stretch the top of your foot. Point. Four. Three. Two. One. Now just hold it in the hand at the same side as your leg. And we're going to do like a windshield wiper, side to side. 
side to side. Flexing your feet back and just going side to side, rotating through that ankle. Side to side. Four, three, two, and one. And last thing, point your toe and we're just going to rotate. Rotating with a point of toe. Just go one direction and we're going to change to the other direction. Strengthening through those ankles. Three, two, one, and then just reverse it. Reverse. You can do this without the band as well if you prefer. Find a way strong. Three, two, one. Great job. We're going to the other side. I'm just going to change so you can see my leg better. So starting off with the band across your foot. Just bend it slightly and we're going to come down and up with that barbie foot and you're touching the ball of your foot to the mat each time. Down and touch. Pressing away, flexing your toes back. Press. You should feel this in the front of your shins as well. It's a bonus. All the way. The more tension you put on this, the more you'll feel that strengthening in the soles of your feet. Four, three, two, one. Now straighten your leg and we're going to point. So make sure you've got your band in a position that you can comfortably point without cramping your toes too much. Point and up, point and up, all the way, really trying to get that point as low as you can towards the mat, stretching out the top of that foot, three, two, one, now flexing that foot again in that Barbie foot and we're going side to side. Like a windshield wiper. Side to side. Just strengthening the ankles here. All the way, side to side for four. And three. And two. And one. And then just picking that leg up, pointing the toe and you're rotating. So you're rotating through that toe, so if you want to do it without the band you can. I've just got my leg up because it gives me a slightly better base of rotation, but if you want to, if your leg's getting tired, you can come down here like this. Three, two, one, and then just go the other way. Really exaggerating that, out and around, four, three, Two, one, and finally, coming back into that crouching position, feet together, we're going to come up on our tippy toes, and then straighten out, up, and down as far as you can, so I can't get my heels all the way down to the mat, but I'm just going to stretch out as much as I can with my Achilles, down, all the way up high on your tippies. And down. And up. And down. Awesome job, that's it. Just a quick stretch for your feet. Incorporate it into your stretching routine so that you can take care of the things that make you walk around every single day and carry all of your weight. So make sure you take care of them. And proper footwear is very, very important, especially with plyo work. I can't look forward to seeing you again soon.